Another one? Ooh. Okay, you can open it up this time. Oh, thanks. a slimepedia? Oh, let me get my hands on this. This slimepedia, and it comes with another book. Huh. Oh my gosh. We are so glad this finally came, and we are so excited. Look at all the slimes. Also, I think it came with another book because it said when we were purchasing it that it would come with an additional book. So that's pretty cool. As you can see on the cover, it has all the different signs on it. And when you turn it to the back, it has all the food, the new books, the chickens, the chickens, another chicken. <laughs> and fun fact about this, when you take this cover off, you do have a cool fancy cover with a tar on the background. And you also have the map inside, including the glass desert, which is pretty cool. And it shows where all the gordos are. Yeah, this is also located in, in the book as well, but you can also find it on the outside cover. Okay, okay. Let's actually look inside of this thing. Oh, that is so cute. That is. If you don't know, or if you haven't played Slime Rancher, there's this guy named H or Hobson that leaves notes around the far, far range. I am assuming this is one of them. And um, also, we have the table of contents over here. There are four sec sections. Ranching, the slimes, the science, and the world. My favorite one is probably going to have to be the world. So here we have the first chapter, ranching part of the chapter, which I think you can find how to collect slimes, make corals, etc. It shows you the basic stuff, like if you give a slime a food, then it gives you a plort, and if you put it in the plort market, you get money. And it shows you that if you feed a slime its favorite, you get two plorts. If you give a Largo slime its favorite, it gives you four plorts, and it shows the different types of faces, and it shows all the stuff that you can buy for the ranch. It shows all of the toys you can buy, all the booster stuff you can buy, the plorts, all the people that you trade with in the game, which I think is pretty cool, and the star mail, all of the treasure pods, and it gives you some rancher notes. So that's pretty cool. Now moving on to chapter two, the slimes. And as you can see, it looks to have the Gordos on the front. Now it has every single slime in here, at least I think. And it has phosphor slimes, tabby slimes, red slimes, puzzle slimes, boom slimes, fire slimes, crystal slimes, <sighs> quantum slimes, nervous slimes, hunter slimes, mosaic slimes, cycle slimes, paper slimes, 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 okay, okay, okay. I think you get it. It has every slime. A lot of slimes. Way too many slimes. It has the Largo slimes, the Pharaoh slimes, and of course the tar and the Gordos. And the party slime, <gasps> the twinkle slime. Mm. Moving on to chapter 3, Slime Science, located on page 61, if you didn't catch that. It has all the stuff that you can get, um, the lab, the stuff at the lab, all the stuff that you can get from the lab, um, the materials you need to put in the refinery to get stuff from the lab, um, all of these decorations, well, I think these are utilities, and then drones and you get them and you you give them the target the source and the destination you um, also have the warp depot technology and all the decorations oh the decorations <laughs> which is pretty cool in my opinion and then we have the Kiros where we have the basketball hoop which me and my brother have played some hoop in the slime rancher game the echo net and all of these. Um, and the mustache. Well, the handlebar. Moving on to chapter four, the world, the final chapter. It shows a map of the far, far range and the glass desert. 
And like I said, this is also in the cover of it, and it is also in here. Now, there's the ranch expansions, which is the grotto, the lab, the overgrowth, the docks, and of course the ranch. We've got all of the stuff talking about those areas. We have Odgin's Retreat, Mochi's Manor, and Victor's Workshop. And the dry reef, of course. It shows all the slimes that appear in the dry reef, especially those gold and lucky slimes. It shows all the food and the gordos and the resources. The indigo quarry. It shows, um, for all of these, it shows the slimes, the food, and the resources. And as we go on and on, you can see that we get, we see different slimes in different areas which is pretty cool, but yeah, we're not gonna focus too much on those, but the one I really like is the um, glass desert, because you find a lot of slime there. And then, obviously, you know, you go to the wilds, Motion Miles place, and that. And then, H left us a little note on area notes. Good luck to ya, H. And that is it, that's the whole book. Now we are going to go back and show stuff that we really want to go over and really want to show you guys. Um, this link again will be in the description to find this. Um, so yeah, now let's go back to the book and find some more um, really cool parts of this. Now chapter one does just focus on the basics. However, I love the little slime drawings they have. They also have a very cool thing, which is the game modes that you could go through. Adventure mode, casual mode, nice and easy, rush mode. Also, moving on to these um, treasure pods, you, they show you the treasure pods that you can find in each area. So you can see in the dry reef, um, it has five green treasure pods, in the, and it has three blue treasure pods and one purple treasure pod and it goes on and on for each of the areas but I think that's pretty cool how it shows you where you can not exactly where you can find them but what materials you can find in what areas and it shows the rankings of the pods the green treasure pod blue treasure pod and the purple treasure pod the purple one has the highest rank we've also got the port market and we have this page which you don't get in the actual Slime Rancher game, which is pretty insane. And of course, we've got every slime in chapter two, which includes little cute drawings of the slimes doing their thing. Wait! This is my favorite slime. It is so cute. I love its little tornadoes how it scoops everything up, and kind of how dangerous it is. Also, it does show you what their diet is, their favorite food, their plort, their favorite toy, their location, and their Gordo's location is in. So I think that's also pretty cool. Now we have the, um, we have Ogden slime, the saber slime, which you haven't <coughs> seen the full breed ever. Ever, and it doesn't have a favorite food or any gordos. The quicksilver slime doesn't have any gordos, and then the glitch slime doesn't have a plort, a diet, or gordos. It only has its location. Now, oh my. This looks like a Pokemon card. I'm sorry, it just does. The gold slime, it just looks so glorious. And it doesn't have a, a gordo. It says, only snares. And this one says five gold plorts. It gives you five gold plorts for its favorite food. And the, the gilded ginger is the only thing that it eats. And obviously we have the lucky slime that doesn't give you a plort, but it does have a diet of meat. So if you hit it with meat, it gives you new bucks, which I, it, again, is really cool. And we have the love and, uh, Largo and Feral Slimes. And the Tar Slime. The slime that eats all slimes. I wouldn't call it a slime. Oh my. That is freaky. Everywhere. And it has 
its diet has Beatrix on its diet. Slime, slimes, meat, and ranchers. Oh lord. I better stay away from them. And obviously the Gordo slimes. If you don't know what Gordo slimes are, they are sort of king slimes of certain slimes. And they, if you pop them, then they give you little, I think they give you little, littler of those slimes and sometimes give you slime keys. And to feed them, you have to give them the food from their diet or their favorite food. And the Twinkle Slime. The Twinkle Slime is one of my personal favorites. We haven't come upon it yet because we started playing Slime Rancher this summer. And it also has the Party Gordo. But I'm really excited to see what the, pink, the Twinkle Slime actually looks like in real life. Of course, we've got Chapter 3, which is just Slime Science. I don't think it's really anything special. Yeah, it sort of just shows you the different types of stuff that you can get there such as the ex extractors, utilities, warp tech, decorations, and curios, and it shows you the stuff that you can, the um, all the resources and stuff, and all the stuff you can get from it. Um, obviously, all of these are made from the lab, so if you don't have the lab in the game, you can't get it yet, and then it shows all of the decorations, which I think is really cool. And then, you know, it just has all these curios, but yeah, that concludes chapter three. Now on to chapter four, the world, which I think is part of one of the coolest chapters because it shows you all of the places. And as I said before, it has the map, the far, far range and the glass desert, um, and the ranch expansions. Um, it has the overgrowth, the grotto, the docks, etc. The lab, Ogden's retreat, Mochi Miles Place, Victor's workshop, um, and the dry reef. It shows everything here. It show I I really like how they draw the Gordos here, and I really like how they have just the resources, the food, and the slimes that you can find there. So again, guys, this I really, really, really like this. Um, uh, I really like this um, real life slimepedia. It is. 95 pages long, which is a lot. Yeah, so that's the Slimepedia. Again, we had a ton of fun filming this video, and it will be linked in the description below. Also, guys, please give us more ideas to for stuff that you want us to review, because there are some stuff that we haven't found yet um, that are slime ranch related, so please give us ideas. Please, please, please. Um, Again, this book it was a bit smaller than I had hoped, um, but the majority of it is more than what you would find in the actual Slimepedia. So I think it's very cool. It also has Victor's Workshop, which I know some people ordered it before Victor's um, expansion, and they didn't get Victor's expansion part of it. But yeah, I really like this 5 out of 5 stars. Anyways, guys, that'll, that'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and happy ranching!